Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I'm Brie Renee, straight from the A. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so you never miss a vlog, a Mommy and Me Monday, or any other dope content that I'm dropping. It is Saturday. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I worked a like 18 hour day yesterday at Black Girl Stuff. It's cool. Like that's what required it's required of me of the job. We got great shows. We pushed through. We got everything we needed cool exhausted because i came home didn't get to sleep till like 4 a.m and now i'm up it's not really that early um i tried to get up at 11 12 to get on the road but unfortunately i didn't get up till 12 30 because i was tired but i deserve that anyways i am headed to a writer's retreat i am about to get on the road it's about a two hour drive to north georgia and i'm about to spend the weekend like saturday and sunday with Ernestine and Cass Seegers. She is the lady who wrote Scheme Queens for us. She's also written so many other teleplays. Teleplays are films that make it to television. And so she's basically gonna be teaching us how to write scripts for TV and just the entire script writing process. I already have written two treatments for some movies that I have in my brain. And I'm ready to like get the ball rolling. And so with the writer's strike, I'm like, why wait on a writer why pay a writer thousands of dollars when I can pay a fraction of that and learn how to do it myself because what that's what black women do we don't wait on anyone we don't ask for help we get it done ourselves so guess who's going to get it done sleepy tired and exhausted I'm gonna push through because this is something that I want for myself and I'm ready for the next level of my life and I realize that no one is going to to come and save me not one person is gonna do it for me not one person is gonna um, make sure I get it done it's all on me whether you're in a relationship whether you have parents whether you have friends whoever it is no one gives a flying about your dreams your goals your aspirations but you and this year the past few years have really taught me that no one's going to support me. No one's going to put, not saying no one's going to support me, but people are going to cheer you on and support you, but no one's going to invest in you. No one's going to pay for the things you need. No one's going to encourage you to get these things done. No one's going to hold your hand and baby you. You have to get up and do it yourself. So that's what I'm doing. Even when I don't feel like it, like I feel like laying in bed all day and watching TV, watching like the Kardashians. Like I feel like maybe reading a book, being cozy, you know, I feel feel like a lot of things but what I cannot do is allow my feelings to dictate my actions and my what I can control I can control myself and I can control what I want out of life and so my feelings are fleeting I'll I won't be tired <laughs> I'm like I'm still gonna be tired but I'm gonna get it done that's all that matters I'm going to write a script I'm coming back with a full script written this weekend okay at least one of my movies will be written so it's done Let's get on this road. I know I got to stop and get gas at some point. I'm going to try to make it out of the city a little bit if I can. Stop and get gas. I definitely need some Starbucks. I deserve Starbucks. So I'm going to get that. And I have not eaten anything. It is 2.15. About to get on the road. Like I said, I only woke up at 12.30. Packed a little like bag. Took a bath. Got myself together. Did my skincare. You know, because I'm not wearing any lashes. You see this, y'all? I'm no lashes right now, which you never really see because I don't know. I just feel like I'm in grind mode. And sometimes when I'm in grind mode, it's like you got to be ugly. You got to grind it out and I mean with a face like this I could never really be ugly but you get what I'm saying I'm not worried about the glitz and the glam right now I'm worried about leveling the fuck up I am so tired I'm sick and tired of being at this level in my life and I just feel like since no one's gonna help me I'm gonna do it myself and when I get out of this level <laughs> I'm gonna remind every single person that I asked for help who did not help me yeah remember when you could have and you didn't Got you. Bet. All right, let's get it done. Let's get on this road. Safe travels. And I hope whatever day you're listening to this, whatever you're doing, whatever you're stuck on, that you get the motivation to get it done yourself because ain't nobody going to do it for you. Let's get it. <laughs> 
Okay guys, I finally made it to the cabin. It took longer than expected. It took like two and a half hours and then as soon as I got here, they'd already started the class, the master class. So I literally didn't want to interrupt them like vlogging and being rude, especially when you like. So I just came in and like got started and it was so much information today, like so, so much. I feel like I'm gonna learn so much. I've already started learning so much. I came with, let me show you guys. So everybody's doubling up, it's all girls. And Ernestine has a room, so of course I'm sharing with her. Watch it with somebody else. I'm trying to put you down. I'm trying to get you together. So it came with this little notebook, which is like everything that she's been going through. Fully, which I do like. It's like, oh, okay, I'm not just listening to you talk. You actually have all of this now, and I can take notes, highlight things you know, along the way, stuff like that. So this is our workbook. And then they gave us a gift with a card in it that was personalized. You know I love a good personalized greeting card. And Cass wrote a little note in there to me, which I love. And then she gave us this book. It's called Formatted Screenwriting Notebook. Oh, it's actually, it's a vomit diary. It's actually a notebook to write, which is like, it's blank. It's like formatted as a script, who doesn't need that? And some note cards. Ink pen, of course, even though I brought my own. And my card. She says, Brie, I am so excited about this next level. You are so cool. Yeah. She's, Ernestine just walked in. How was, I was reading them my card that I just got. Yes, I forgot to sign them. Cass signed them and I forgot, so. Put a little green lit right there. Okay. <laughs> I like it. It's, um, it says, Brie, I'm so excited about this next level. You're so creative, and I can't wait to see you become a writer. Mm -hmm. I know you're going to tell some amazing stories. Love ya, girl. Let's go, Cass and Ernestine from Green Lit. Green lit. yeah. Okay. And you got your, I like how you wear your green for Green Lit. You know I'm always dropping the Green Lit. You, you know. You gotta wreck your company, baby. You know. Listen, we are day one at the writer's retreat. It's going I was down. just showing them all it the, is like, going down. supplies, everything is The so workbook plate that Cass has provided us with is literally years of knowledge like it's Bro. so robust it's so good i just was like i like that i'm not just listening to you talking and trying to take my own notes yeah, i like that you gave right me here. everything yes. and i can follow along highlight what yes. i need i'm like don't lose that book that book is no gold. this don't. is yeah, yeah the bible it. yeah that's it so yeah i'm glad i'm excited i feel like we're about to learn a lot we just finished day one so yeah. We're done for today, right? No, we have to watch a movie. Well, we're so gonna watch we're watching a movie. Bridesmaids, and we're gonna break down Bridesmaids based off the elements of script writing that we've learned. Ooh, I look shiny. You look more <laughs> Yep, I love that. And we're about to just take a little break and about to eat dinner, so. Yeah. Let me go find my little tribe. You know, I'm a vlogger now, too, so let me go get my camera. Yeah, I'm a vlogger. you need to vlog and let everybody know about the weekend. I know, I am. Where's my voice? Yes, my I'm camera. vlogging. I'm so sugar cookie colored, I feel like. <laughs> So I'm like, dang, sure, sure, sure. give me some of that brown. I'm For looking sure. all pale and I need to make it. But yeah, anyways, let me get settled. Oh, okay. We'll be on by 8, Hey guys, good morning. It's day two. I'm eating breakfast right now. <laughs> Got a little French toast, some sausage, some bacon, some food. Morning breakfast potatoes. It's looking like fall. For real, for real. And guess who decided to pull up on us? Not Megan Ashley. Y'all can't really see the light behind them, but that's who that person is right there. And my baby Jordan. She the one who told me officially I was a TT. <laughs> All right, ladies, we're back in, we're back in, we're back in. We are back. Everybody sleep good, everyone feels good? Yeah. Was the food good? Yes, the food is so good. Woo. All right, we do have a new student who joined us today. Come on, new student. <laughs> Welcome, new student. Round robin, everyone introduce themselves and what they do and why they're here and what they would like to learn. So everyone, welcome Megan. Hey, Megan. We had a cancellation yesterday, and, and the person who canceled said they wanted to donate their ticket. So Megan was able to uh, get down here quickly. So welcome, Megan. And this is Jordan. 
Hi, Jordan. Takeaways. What did you go to sleep thinking? Like, were you mind blown? Was there something you were fixated on? What's the takeaways? Go ahead and talk to me. I love understanding the anti hero. Oh, yeah, that was good. I think I kept contemplating on, like, because I'm like, well, aren't we all anti heroes? <laughs> like, in life, like I'm just, I always feel like everybody has that duality of good and bad, but mm -hmm. now I know it has like a specific character title. Yeah. And how to incorporate that. I think a lot of my characters in my head are anti heroes. Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, I do, probably. Yeah. For me, it was the arcs because I started looking at my own uh, little script and I was like, what arc does this fall in? Good, 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 good. Honestly, like everything that y'all are dropping, I'm just like, please, write it down quick enough, you know what I mean? Highlight it, start it. Um, there's just been, you know, gems the whole time, so thank you. Find a creative way to show it instead of just telling it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. That was my major takeaway. All right, we're back in. What page are we on? We're on page 22. So what I'm about to go over over the next few pages is different ways to break down your script. Some people strictly can look at the, what I did earlier with the major plot points and they can put all of their cards down and they're like, okay, I know I'll pay 25, I should be here, let me put all of this here, put all of this here. This is even a smaller breakdown of how you would maybe structure your script when you're developing it. And they do it in sequences. The sun is there now and the four <laughs> gentlemen offer her an option. She can either leave, she can either <clears throat> Sacrifice her priest son and be let free, or she can die and and he can go free. Mm. Mm. Uh, so now she's facing the dilemma. Decisions, Lucy. And Lucy decides that she's gonna sacrifice her life for her son. Mm -hmm. She old anyway. Yeah, she's about to go. <laughs> <laughs> not that old. Well, I mean, older than her son. Most parents are gonna. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. You talk about never mind to the camera. Yes. If we do it again with Lucy, wouldn't this be like making like a second draft to our note cards? Yeah, I think it would be. Right. It would be. So we can do it again with Lucy. Can we do it again with Lucy? Let's do the whole. Y'all is really rooting for Lucy. <laughs> Lucy is dead. Lucy go. Lucy died. Here's the thing: if you do it again with Lucy, you have to do the same story over again better. Which you could do that, or you could take all that. Like you got to think about every. And I didn't mention it. The first one I wanted to see how we tell the story, and that's what happens when you're writing a draft. You get so. Great, okay, we gotta get this, we gotta go to this point, but you forget all the steps, elements. you forget the elements. Yeah. Like, oh my God, like you had the thing with the glasses, you had, you know, the more you set up the story, Here in the it was her deceased husband's blah, blah, blah. You, if they were nearby, it could have been some in-law pictures that she saw, and now it's in-laws, and she's like, oh, I know somebody. You know what I mean? There could have been things in the house that it could have been heirlooms that she didn't, oh, maybe they're a part of this. Maybe the in-laws wanted her husband's fortune that only went to her, and they wanted it, and that's well, why they were trying to kill her. Really and well, maybe, maybe her husband wasn't really dead. Maybe her husband wasn't really dead. Yeah. Yeah. Right, and obviously you can always come up with that things after the fact, sure. but think about stuff like that. This protagonist has to have some sort of art change, whether it's growth art, like, if she had been very, very selfish in the beginning and we set it up with somebody who's like, oh, she's selfish and she's really only rich and she's this and she doesn't care about family, but she's mm -hmm. going there. Mm -hmm. And then she sacrifices herself mm -hmm. for the son. Then you'd have been like, oh, oh no, okay, girl, girl, girl. I see the girl heart. Well, y'all so, should have set that up. But we didn't. No. Right, that's what I'm saying. We didn't set it up. We were just telling the story. Hi, guys. <laughs> it is. Wait, let me pause this. Period. I'm satisfied with me. I, I like who I am. I like what I stand for. Period. That I am listening to the new Mondays, Mommy and Me, episode 30 with my mom. So yeah, it is Monday. Definitely got back from the retreat last night. I had to go pick up Carlos today. And I was looking like a foot. Like y'all see my hair was looking crazy. It was not nothing cute. I was just chilling. And I had planned on being in the house all day. I went to therapy online, picked up Lowe's. He was back in town. So I was like planning on just like us relaxing in the house all day. Till he told me about an hour ago that he has a movie premiere tonight for his movie, The Apartments. And with T.I. and all of them. So he's like, babe, we have to go to this movie premiere. It's like, why would you tell me that? When my hair is standing on top of my head. But anyway, so I just took a shower. I mean, we well, took a bath and I did my hair. I just put a little, did a little half up, half down with a claw clip and some little pieces. I 
don't feel like doing too much because again i did not feel like leaving the house today so i'm gonna figure out something cute quick i can throw on and of course i'm gonna take y'all along with me um i don't have any lashes on i'm thinking about doing a little little light makeup this my boyfriend gave me a hickey on my chin why would you do that so now i have to put on a little bit of makeup to like cover this up because that looks dumb that looks really dumb i don't care he's done it before he's actually giving me one way worse like i don't know why he'd be i don't know anyways let me find something to wear because it's 8 17 and we need to be leaving the house at least by 8 45 so that's literally 30 minutes so at least i got my hair done i gotta figure out what i'm wearing and put a little bit of makeup on and then we calling it a day let's figure it. and then i'm at his house so i don't even have a whole bunch of stuff or things to choose from it's like why would you have me out here looking like this so i gotta put together something that i ain't got nothing to put together with we gonna figure it out <laughs> all right guys so i think i hid the hickey a little bit <laughs> this is the final look let me show you let me prop you up i'm doing something super like super chill right just oh. see what i do I go through for y'all okay we have on a little roll hoodie i got on a skims bodysuit up under it but it's like fall ish feeling so i have on a little mini cargo skirt and tan shark boots so, make it feel a little edgy. Of course, we got on jewelry, you know. Put my other chain on. Put my hair in a claw clip. It's frizzy, but hey, it's a natural girl day. Natural girl style with a little claw clip, half up, half down. Let me see if you can see the full fit. There we go. Little boot skirt action. Maybe it's ter terrible lighting in Carlos house because he's a guy, but. You know, little boots, sweater, skirt, cargo actions, giving sporty chill. I ain't really feel like coming, but we here. <laughs> okay. So, yes, that's what I did in 30 minutes. The little light beat. This is giving, I want to cover it up, put a little blush on, a little lip liner. I have no lashes on. This is me with mascara. I'm proud of me. I don't think I've done my makeup with no lashes without, like, physically having lashes on. Extension, usually I wear extensions, but... I've been like liking how I look without them. So I'm like loving me. I shouldn't have sprayed so much water in my hair because now it's getting super frizzy. But you know, maybe I'll wet it down a little bit before we leave so it can refreeze on the way down. That don't even make sense, but we're gonna figure it out. Let's go to the, we going to the show. Mm, no, let's go mm, mm, to the show mm, mm, to see mm, mm, Carlos. Mm, mm. Okay, I'm corny. My kids are gonna hate me, bro. They're gonna be like, my mama is the most overly supportive person, but I just feel like my mom worked so much and even though she paid and make sure that we had everything and every like like we pay, we had everything we needed for sports and activities i just it never felt like her being there like nothing felt better than that and so i just always try to be supportive for the people that i love and show up for them because that matters to me and i want people to show up for me so i'm showing up for him let's go to the show to see carlos <laughs> go ahead baby What's up, the money? Nigga, it's coming. I bet. Don't get it fucked up, Carlos. No, come on, boy. No. It's coming. How you doing, kid? Come on, baby. And reach him. That's some What's up? No, goddamn. Reach him black. Yes, sir. Black. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. Hey, what's going on, Carlos? I almost feel man coming. What's up, my brother? How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you always. No, the red carpet is right there. You didn't miss it. I know we late, man. We're not late. I know we're not late. We're we probably we right on time. time. Yeah. <laughs> Good to see you, my nigga. <laughs> she's your she's your hey, mom, with the blog, with the blog. Know, oh, hey, Let them know. Look, more than culture. Let's go. Let's just vlog me. Hi, vlog me. Hey, girl. Let them know where to follow you. You can follow me at Chelsea Saray. C H E L S E A. Yes. 
Yeah. And we out here. Yeah. 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 So tell the people how we know each other. So her dad is actually my dentist. He's been my dentist. He's my for like for like since like, like, yeah, like 10, 15 years. And we just met like like so much. Right. Yes. So I ran into my boo, Big Boss Day. We looked so cute. We had a movie. Yeah. We had a cute little yeah. hat out. Here he is. Yes. So we need to get a pic. Yeah. I'm not getting all of the little nuances. Hey, 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 hey. Uh, it's talking <laughs> about priorities. Uh, like you had planned to be here, uh, like in the movie, uh, part of the movie, uh, and you don't have a seat. Raise your hand. All right, uh, one, come on, sit right here. Right here. Baby, this can turn to a date. It is a date. It's a movie date. <laughs> Yeah, you got to see I'm going to look as bad as I thought it was. Alright, so this is the time where if you know you're in it, you know you're in it. Let's see what we're going to eat. Oh, you get it free. <laughs> I'm talking about I want all the unlimited stuff. Yes. When you get it free, Andre, everything is basically. So you going to get a burger? Um, I think I might get some nachos. I'm just going to chop it. You don't want nothing? Hey, what tip? What tip? What tip? I don't know you need to hear this, but all you small towns want to come up here think you need to see something else. Good job, baby. You killed it. Directors, art direction, everybody involved. Uh, we got the other mic. It's okay. So first of all, I just wanted to know about the inspiration. Where did this process come from, and and where did the wheel start rolling at initially? All right. Well, uh, here, 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 hold this for me, please. Okay. I, I, I'll be honest. Uh, this it started uh, right in the pandemic when they said people weren't working in the den. Uh, it was it was, it was some dirty, vicious, low down bitches that told some erroneous lies over me and my family, and they said that we would never work in the in the in the film and television business again. And I said, okay, well fuck that, we gonna do our own shit. Oh, God. And so then, uh, Champ, myself, DL, Tyler, we all just kind of collaborated, came together, and began to build a universe of a world that we were all too familiar with because we 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 come from it. I cast Ronnie as Bishop, and, and, and Ronnie began called COVID. <laughs> the, the day before COVID. Damn. I've seen collaboration is key and essential. Shout out to Swirl Films, but I also see that 85 South logo on there. Woo! I talked to my brother Carlos and um, asked you um, from the direction about it, how did you feel, you know, about you joining in with it? Uh, Tim called me and he was telling me about it way before, <laughs> way before like it was actual there. And then he was like, "Look, we ready?" And I was like, "Alright, we ready." And then he was like, "Look, now we ready for real." And I was like, <laughs> "We ready for real?" Like, yeah. So when I got the call and I got to the when I got to the set, it was just it was it was exactly what you saw. It's like you could see the finished product. Everybody. Got this shit off. This movie was legit funny as hell. I laughed the whole time. And it's not just because I know the people that was in there. So just to be part of something big and start showing me the script and what everybody was doing and the bits and pieces that they already had, it was just a no brainer to be a part of it. So I'm excited. First of all, that funny, that funny, that movie was so funny. It was so funny. I think as a creative, I'm ex inspired because you can definitely break the rules if you know how to break the rules, if you have the right circumstances, and that was like the perfect circumstances. Also,
also, because I went on the writer's trip retreat yesterday, I literally watched the movie thinking about all the things that I learned this past weekend, which lets me know that I actually did invest in myself and now I'm excited to create, that's one. And I'm proud of my boyfriend, like it's inspiring to be around winners, to be around people who do and chase their dreams and go after what they want fearlessly. And so it was super dope. Ernestine did pop up, she did pull up. You guys missed it. Carlos is outside right here doing an interview with somebody like he, what I love about my man, I know I'd be like my man, my man, my man, but my man. <laughs> I know I'll be like my man, my man, my man, but my man be inspiring me, okay? Because as a star, as a creator, sometimes you don't want to be, like, you don't want to put that shit on. You don't want to come outside. You don't feel like being, like, on. And I know he didn't feel like being, like, on today. Neither did I. We both were in, like, a chill mode in the house, kicking it, and then, like, we forgot this happened. But look at him. He outside doing interviews with people who are, like, fans. This is not, this is going to be on their TikTok or their YouTube, and this is going to do them some good but not really it doesn't benefit him is my point is like he's still going out his way even though he doesn't feel like it even though he's ready to go even though he's like he was like come on babe let's go let's go like, call the car let's go let's go like it was too much at some point but i just love that he still keeps going that's one thing that really inspires me because i i know i don't be feeling like it but hey we love what we do we do what we do you feel me but anyways about to go home i'm feeling good i done had a couple of drinky drinks it was way more packed than i thought it would be like i don't know why i thought maybe because it wasn't all over social media but it was three theaters worth of people i thought we did something with skin queens when we had atlantic station theater sold out they had three theaters worth of stuff they had free food free drinks and it was super cute so it was it turned into a whole day night which was cute so y'all got to see me you know people did like my little outfit i'm like sugar cookie pale i need to get a tan but needless to say it was cute and i'm proud of my man and this is just the first of many things to come i'm about to go outside and be like he gotta go because this is too long that's they said it was gonna take 30 seconds i've been on here three minutes and they was out there way before that it's time to go you ready i can't crank the car up without you hey guys <laughs> well it's a lot of days later since the last time you saw me um i needed a break child I just needed a break from vlogging every day and being on all the time. Anybody who is a entertainer will know that sometimes you just need to be ugly or not be on. So I needed a break from being on. So I hadn't been vlogging consistently, but I can't be like that. <laughs> can't be like that. So I'm back. <laughs> and today I'm about to juice some stuff. I have a lot of things, that, uh, errands I have to run. I gotta go to the bank, juice. Um, me and Carlos are gonna also record our Q&A today for you guys. I know that has been highly anticipated and long of waiting. So we're gonna do that. But yeah, right now I'm about to juice this pineapple and some apples before it goes bad. This is not like my normal juicing recipes, but I just don't want the fruit to go bad and it's getting really cold outside. So I feel like what better to like boost our immune system than to get some natural stuff going drinking our veggies and stuff and plus the cleaning lady is here today so i want to make the mess before she's done cleaning up so yeah let's get to juicing so you can see this i just have two pineapples they're fully ripe as you can see and i already cut the head off of this one and i have this pineapple core that i feel like makes it so much easier you just put that in there and then turn it. And it will like literally pull the whole pineapple out. I think this pineapple is already going bad. It is. This pineapple's bad. Let me throw it away. Yeah, it's mushy. Ugh, but let me see. Maybe it was just the top. Let me see. Because it don't smell bad and it don't look bad once I get in there. Hold on. Because we just got this on Monday. No, Saturday. Good thing the trash bag was right there. Yeah, it's too mushy because it normally would come out all in one. It would be solid. It, this is too mushy. I'm not even finna. Damn. Let me 
see if it's not working. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe the, the pineapples and apples have already gone bad. So instead of juicing today, maybe we'll do a life update video. Juicing is not gonna work. I have failed my fruits once again. Um, I don't know if anybody else out there is like me, but will buy fruits and vegetables a few days in advance because you're gonna juice. And then by the time you get ready, because these were literally purchased on Saturday, it's Tuesday. Now they're old. Well, that is Saturday. Sunday, Monday. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. That's like four days. Maybe it has to be the same day type of thing. Let me regroup <laughs> and look at what else I have to do today. I know I have to finish reading a script for Scheme Queens 2. I also have to go to the bank. I also have to work out tonight at 7. Maybe we'll just take you guys along because what I planned on doing didn't work. So let me go just tackle my to-do list because today will be productive. I did not, I was not as productive on Saturday and Sunday or yesterday to be honest but yesterday I gave myself grace because I got my taxes done and that's like really important so I'm trying to just give myself grace of like resting not having to be super productive and then also getting things done because shit still got to get done regardless of what you feel like so let me recalibrate because uh, I'm crusty it's like it's one thing to be crusty but then it's another thing to be ashy Ashy and crusty. Okay. Hey guys. Yesterday I attempted to juice. The the fruit was bad. Carlos had the groceries delivered. He was out of town, so it was Saturday. And then they yesterday was Tuesday and they were bad. So a epic fail. And he got them from Kroger. And I feel like because I've been staying at his house, we've been getting groceries from like Kroger and Publix. And I don't like the quality of the produce. Like it don't be lasting. So today I'm getting ready to go to the grocery store by my house that I used to go to. It's like a farmer's market. It's called Namde Moon. It's like an Asian grocery store store farmer's market i really only go there to get like produce and meat and stuff so i'm gonna just go and grab a bunch of things because everything is fresher they have more variety and it lasts way longer so i'm gonna go there grab some stuff well let me back up let me tell y'all i have been so inconsistent with vlogging everything i'm gonna take that bet i'm gonna give myself grace <laughs> i want y'all i'm glad we got this on camera i am going to give myself brie renee is going to give brie renee grace because i am doing the best the very best that I can at this moment with what I have. And that's all I could do is the best, is my best, right? Is my best at any given time is do my best. And I have been doing my best. However, life has been life -in. I realized last night, I was like, wow, I haven't been motivated with the gym. I haven't been motivated with myself. Um, I haven't been motivated with like, a lot of business things as much as I usually am I'm usually a super overly ambitious person so I know it looks like oh you're still accomplishing things but at a slower rate than what I normally do I really did a deep dive on the inside because I was like wow you really have a wellness brand like higher being my my entire brand that I what I feel like I exude through my page even though i'm not constantly pro promoting the brand name um because instagram deleted my page that's a whole nother story anyways i have a wellness a health and wellness brand a wellness brand and i myself am not well so oh i thought i heard somebody coming in driving so how do you expect to be or exude this cookie cutter ass lifestyle that you made up in your head or you got off tiktok and you're not really that well right now and so it's like i just want to continue to be transparent and honest and show you guys that even when you aren't well you can still push through but not even pushing through in a sense of like getting things done it's like listening to yourself i have been resting even though i have been actively doing what my body is telling me to do mentally i have been feeling bad about doing it so like my body said rest saturday and sunday i, I rested saturday and sunday i tried the juice and 
the fruit was bad, I was like, I'm not stressing it today. I put that test to the side. I was gonna vlog yesterday. I didn't. I got minimal things done that needed to be done, but I didn't overextend myself. I'm not overextending myself anymore. I'm tired of overextending myself to everything, not even just to people, but to my own ideologies of what I'm supposed to be producing. Uh, I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing that no more. So, anyways, I'm going to get the things that need to be done, done. When they need, you know what I mean? And I'm going to take my time. I feel like I've just been in such a big race. And, hey, in like, so fast to go a whole bunch of nowhere. And it's like, maintain? As long as I'm maintaining. God, please give me favor to maintain. Until I get to the point where I can go 100% full throttle. And until then, as long as I'm maintaining, baby, that's... <laughs> I'm giving myself grace of having to always hustle and bustle and listen, okay? I'm taking me, I'm in a season of taking me a break. But also just like doing things that naturally feel good when they feel good. Listening to my body, my spirit, like, and what I'm being led to do. So anyways, today I'm being led to go to Namde Moon so I can juice. Um, Because also in this season, because I've been internally, I don't know if anybody else is like this, but whenever I'm in internal conflict, I eat. I eat. My anxiety, my overthinking, all of that makes me eat. And so I've gained weight. My trainer made me weigh in yesterday. I should have took a picture of it and recorded it, but who wants to see that negativity? I was 199. I promised myself a couple years ago after, like, maybe damn near 10 years ago now, that I would never see 200 pounds ever again. And here I am at 199.2. So guess what I'm doing? I'm reversing it. I'm backing it on up. So that's why I'm also going to the farmer's market so I can get some produce, some juice, out, so I can juice, smoothie it out, as well as like soups, cause it's it's getting chilly outside. So yeah, I want some tomato soup, some broths. I can make me my own little veggie soups. Things like that, you know? I'm about to go do that. Then, because Halloween is in like two weeks, and I'm just feeling like doing something for somebody that I love, I'm gonna go to Target, cause I gotta grab a few things. But I'm also gonna make Carlos a boo basket. I did see that on TikTok, and I was like, that's so cute. Let me make a little my own little version of a boo basket for him. Just a little cute little basket for the holidays. I think I'm gonna get him some like matching well it's for Halloween but I'll get him like little matching pajamas and this is something that like my Nana used to do. She didn't call it a boo basket but she definitely used to. Maybe I should make her one. I should. Cause she always made me Halloween and Easter baskets so I should do that for my Nana too. Make her one. Make her and my and Carlos one. And then what else will I do? I have to go to my house to grab some clothes because it's getting cold and I only got like little skimpy little workout leggings and I need some sweats, some cold stuff over here. Cause like, are we moving in or not? I, it's so much going on in my head at one time and I was like, I'm trying to get it all organized. Anyways, the seasons are changing. Let me get myself together. Let me lose some weight. Let me go to the grocery store. Let me do what feels good. Let me stay in alignment. Let me listen to myself. Let me give myself grace. I am enjoying and appreciating every stage that I'm in. I'm not always enjoying it. Let me not lie. But I am appreciating every stage that I'm in. Tell you, let's go. <laughs> Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. <laughs> Okay, y'all, pit stop. Before I made it to Namde Moon, I'm so excited because I just found a new location in Namde Moon. But I'm going to Starbucks first because I just feel like I need to set the vibe with a T. So, but unfortunately, the Starbucks is inside of Kroger. So it's like, why are you going to come to a grocery store to get tea to go to another grocery store? But I'm having it my way. Okay, let's go. Yeah. I actually wouldn't say this is a really good Namde Moon after being here. It doesn't, it doesn't look like a good non-day moon to me. But we gonna make the best out of it. Popping up the mess. Drop it in the water. Let the daughter find an image with the rest. She'll be learning how to breathe. Spinning through identity. Reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. That actually wasn't bad. I got all of that for $55. I do feel like that was better than a regular grocery store. When baking, you can make Okay, 
So Nam Day Moon Run wasn't a total wash. I got most of everything I needed, pretty much for the most part. They didn't have a great selection of limes and lemons though, so that drove me. I wish I had it came here first and then went to that Kroger, but you know the Starbucks couldn't wait. I did grab frozen fruit while I was at Kroger and like some canned beans, canned corn, canned like vegetables and stuff because sometimes I like to throw that stuff into a soup. But yeah, now I'm going to head to Target to start making my boo basket. But I did see there's a Dollar Tree right here. So I'm going to go there first to grab some candy from the Dollar Tree and see if they have like an actual little basket or some stuff to like de decorate. And I decided that not only am I going to make one for Carlos, but I'm going to make one for my niece and my nephew as well. I think they would really like that. So yeah. Also, while I was in Nam Day Moon, me and my homegirls were on the phone. We had a really good conversation about just like, I was telling them that I think that I've been in this weird season in my life right now because I'm so ready to get to the next level and I don't really know what that next level of me looks like but I know that I'm exhausted and tired of this level and so just taking time to pay attention to how I feel when I'm doing certain things to show me what I should be doing like if I feel good doing this then that's something I could continue to do if I don't feel good then that's something that I'm not gonna do and not judging how I feel about the things that I'm doing that's important because I realized that in this season, I don't feel good bustling and grustling and grinding. Like I was saying earlier, I don't feel good doing that anymore. But I have been judging myself for not feeling good doing that. And I'm in a slower, taking it slow. I don't want to say soft girl era because I'm very much still getting to the bag, baby. In a softer, slower way of life right now. And, and doing what feels good is okay. I'm not going to judge what feels good. So that was a great way to like just flesh it out and talking to my homegirls and getting it out. That helps. So anyways, to the Dollar Tree we go. Y'all, I have a confession. I don't know if y'all know, but I love me some Dollar Tree. That's why I do owe y'all a Dollar Tree haul, but we don't got time for that. Neither do our funds and finances. Got room for that right now. So we're going to keep it on the budget. Y'all see, I'm still under 150 for the groceries that I need in. Now, I'm trying to stay under less, less than 150 for these gifts, okay? Because this is like a little just because type of thing. But yeah, let's go Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree just made me feel red. But you know the Dollar Tree not even a dollar no more. So I had really had been on a strike for a minute because I was feeling played because I felt like the deception, the lies. But let's go. Oh, you need a quarter. Oh, no, you don't. It's just when you can't take out some Spinning through identity, reveal another pretty little scheme. Save her mind. Hold her hand. And don't believe a lie, you understand me. Walk her down the valley, pack a piece of heaven for the bottoms of her feet. Teach her how to jump and how to stretch when she reach. Like the angels do, and you gon' make it through now. Tell about the healer, greater is the one within a column as the leader. Teach her how to hold a pretty hand up to the sky And I'ma wait up on the giver, he'll deliver like a dealer to take her higher, higher Fly out the valley and the fire Take her Running. Show her every door and how the windows let the sun in. Copy out the key and tell her this is for becoming. Y'all, I just thought of the cutest little thing. So, I got these little squares, like canvas. From, obviously, I'm still in the Dollar Tree. And some orange, black, and white paint. And I'm gonna make it like a cute little thing that says, You're my boo. <laughs> I'm gonna paint it and put that in the basket, at least for Carlos's. Because his. It's easier to make the kids ones because I can just put like little toys and trinkets in there I'm already got like a lot of little things and decorations and like those little um, glow-in-the-dark necklaces and stuff like That's easy, but for Carlos, I feel like I got to be more creative because it's not much you can get around me I'm gonna get him some pajamas and um, He don't really have a vice So yeah, we're getting it together so I did just drop $100 in the Dollar Tree. But 
the good thing is I got pretty much everything for the kids basket I might give them a little bit more candy but I got everything they needed really for their basket and all the decor stuff that I'm gonna use to de decorate both of the basket all of the baskets so I just have to go to Target to get Carlos the actual basket the pajamas and maybe something else cute in there that I might see for him but the kids is good so that's good let's keep it moving because it's three o'clock so i need to go to the bank which closes at five so i need to see about it at the bank by five and back over there to the house by six so let's keep it moving because i gotta be at the gym at seven it's a good day it is a good day don't nothing make me feel good but like getting everything i want to get done oh my god guys i just put up my money and invested in scheme queen two that's right we got part two coming on the way and your girl just dropped a bag in the paint i just put my money where my mouth is and wired my portion of the investment for skin queens too we are officially in pre-production and that's what i'm talking about like how i just be walking around like i'm not a movie producer like i'm not like i don't be starring and acting in my own movies like come on bruh Stop playing with you! Stop playing with you! And I just put my money up for part two. Come on, man! Like ain't nobody doing it. Like this real boss type stuff. Okay. Anyways, it's time for Target. I've been loving this lip balm, butter balm. It's like gloss, but it feel good too. And I don't gotta dip my finger in it. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. I'll put the link below. Below. Oh, I'm spitting. I done put a little bit too much on. You know, if you put too much lip stuff on, you do that, and then it come off on your finger. Not trying to be nasty. And I did just put hand sanitizer on so that tastes like alcohol. Uh, but anyways, this is Summer Fridays lip balm and the vanilla. I love this. I put it, I got it off Amazon. I actually got the trio off Amazon. I like that one and I like the iced coffee one busting. Did you see a little gloss? A little super glossy. And it feel good. My skin is not doing that great, but don't worry. I put in an order with my esthetician to get all my skincare products and re-back up because the seasons are changing. I've been drinking dairy. And another re I mean, I've been eating dairy, which is another reason why I've been gaining weight and my skin been breaking out. But it's cool. I got my water. We about to get it together. Let's go to Target. It's 3.30. We still doing good on time. All I got to do is hit Target in my house and then I'm done. Uh, period. You know, this is how they get you. The fever, baby, cry and get to running. And tell her that you better get your bootstraps up. You're with the army. Ready when the truth act up, nothing can harm me. Yelling from the roof, I touch, put up a garden. Count to ten, lion's den, speaking with the higher pen. Can't I just said I was done getting the kids stuff, but it was cute. Let's go look at the pajama. Okay, Target, the little faux leather. I could be having some stuff sometimes. Never been a product of a fly or this environment. These are for me. You, 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 you. And I still pray. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I, I need to get away. Yeah. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause Target is gonna get me. I can feel it. I'm gonna go over $100 in here already. I can feel it. Because first of all, pajamas are $30. Let's just start there. Okay. Why are pajamas $30? It's already getting out of hand. But don't this look cute to go with these house shoes? It's not a perfect match, but that's cute. I'm wearing that tonight. <laughs> I'm going to get my Nana some of these pajamas. Is this a robe? Cause I do need a robe for Carlos house. See, that's what I'm saying. I get crazy. I get crazy in Target. Okay, so for Carlos basket, I'm gonna get him like two long sleeve shirts to go along with his pajamas and some scullies because it's officially put some on your head season. You know he bald, so that'll be cute. <laughs> I don't. I think I feel like I remember him saying he hates skull caps, but. I'm gonna just grab them just in case, and if he hates them, I'll wear them. They scullies, they ain't for $5. Okay, now I need to get a basket for his stuff and candles for my Nana. I'll put candles in hers. Okay, I think these baskets will do for. Oh, you know what? I only need one. 
because my Nana is getting the Dollar Tree basket. Yes, yes. I forgot. Well, let me see. I don't know. I'm gonna make up my mind when I get to the counter. Hers might be given more elevated, you know? So I'm gonna give her a candle as well. No, I just gotta find one that smells good. Oh, and that would be a good one. Gratitude. Let's hope it smells good. It's decent. I can get her that because I am grateful for her. That smells balance. That smells good. An intention. I smell peace. Okay, so I'm going to get Carlos the peace one because it smells really good and we've been in a really good place. So, hey, I want him to know I come in peace. <laughs> we need peace in the household. I get my Nana balance and gratitude because I'm grateful for her. And balance smells good. So, yeah. I think that concludes our basket shopping. It's 4.38 and I think because I'm buying clothes at Target, I don't got to go home to get clothes. See how I just killed them two words in one stone and I just validated myself for per making these purchases <laughs> yeah that part okay so it's five o'clock and i just left target i definitely went over my hundred dollar budget at target spending three hundred dollars so total this has been like a five hundred dollar day which i did not mean to do but um the good thing is is that some of this i could write off since i am vlogging it it's technically business right <laughs> Anyway, so I'm about to stop at Panera Bread right now and grab me a little like lunch and then I'm going to head to my house. Even though I said I wasn't going to go to my house, I'm going to go to my house because it's closer to the gym and I'll and it's closer to where I'm at right now. So it's literally like 10, 15 minutes from me right now and I can go home, eat lunch, make the baskets and that way I can give Carlos his basket tonight. There's no point of going all the way to his house when I don't want him seeing me making the basket anyway. And it's closer to the gym. So yeah, that works out. I need to get away. Cause I would rather be, rather be running away. I would rather be, rather be running. Dear God, won't you send me a break? Cause I need to get away. these baskets but I'm about to sit down and eat my Panera bread bowl first because without that what's life Okay, even though I'm still eating, I wanted to show y'all everything that I'm going to put into the baskets because I'm about to start making it while I'm eating. So, we got some decorations. We got little toys for the kids, like this goo I'm going to give to Morgan. Some Uno cards, some gum, candies, candy, candy, stickers, candy. Trish is getting a card. All of these, this came from the Dollar Tree. Decorations, glow sticks. Um, Morgan's going to get a t-shirt. They both going to get a set of pajamas, uh, Rubik's cube, and of course, like some little decoration to go around it. Now, I hope everything fits in here. And I got this to stuff at the bottom of it so it can really sit. These are my Nana pajamas, and this is Carlos and my Nana stuff. So, and of course, they're going to get some of these candies too. So let's get to making the basket. The orange one will be for Tristan, the purple one will be for Morgan. So I'm just gonna start with the stuff. Now the kids baskets are done. Only thing I have to add in is the pajamas. I think I left them in the car. They might be in this little bag. Let's make Carlos's. <laughs> Stronger, 
The only time a nigga gonna get a ring out of me is a ring pop. Okay? Hey, yo, he said that he will never change. And he never changed. He remains the same every single day. Yesterday's the day I let him hold my hand. And I follow all his plans. Sometimes I don't understand. But to trust is what I can do. Cause he made me new. And he came me too. This is Carlos finished basket. It's so cute. I really like doing stuff like this. And then this is my Nana's basket with her pajamas, her candles, her candy. And she even got like a little lava lamp back there. And now I'm going to see if I can draw a ghost and put these eyeballs on it and say, will you be my boo? Mm-hmm, <laughs> for Carlos's. That's funny, so cute. This is so flicted, but this is Carlos's. Will you be my boo? <laughs> I'm gonna let it dry while I'm at the gym and then um, I didn't use a lot of paint so hopefully it just dry and I could just stick it right in the front of his boo basket that's so stinking cute I love it so cute so here I am made it to the gym I just burp and that's disgusting I've been having like acid reflux or something like where my food be burping coming back up my esophagus I don't know what that is but anyways I made it to the gym it's 7 p.m. and it's squat-tober. We've been doing legs and squats all month. This is week three. And I really do feel like my booty getting bigger. At least that's what I'm telling myself. To make the pain worth the gain, okay? Okay, sis. <laughs> hey, boo. cute today y'all see my little new balances this is squattober help us help ding, ding, ding. I made it guys do the workout look how dirty can you see I had to put my jacket on I am so dirty that's why I don't be wearing light colored or cute colors stuff to the gym but I made it through the workout and I'm about to, I just ordered, I'm waiting on my um, protein shake. I'm telling y'all, do this protein shake challenge with me. November 6th through the 10th, we doing two proteins a day, two protein meal replacements a day and one meal. Oh, let me cut this off, it's gonna flag it. Uh, okay, so I just pulled up at my sister house and I'm about to give the kids their boo basket. My sister is like, girl, why is you coming over here at 8, 30, 9 o'clock? But... Oh, you just get coconut a bear. Yeah. Oh <laughs> Look at coconut. Coconut just got a bear. <laughs> she want to get that. She, she, she smells hot. You miss me? Oh, you miss me? <laughs> she miss her mama. <laughs> you miss me. Okay. <laughs> well, she oh. smell good. Oh, well, Morgan, God. I made you a boo basket. Oh, oh this is so oh. cute. Okay. Wait a minute. This is coconut. Put coconut down. Where's Where's my basket? I didn't make you one. <laughs> <laughs> Morgan, open it. And I got y'all these pajamas, but no, I'm wet. <laughs> they didn't fit in the basket. Come here, come here, because she she needs to dry on. Come here. Eyeballs. Look. Oh, what's that? Come here. It's candy and games. Come here. I had these before. They was glow in the dark. Here. Silly string. Ring pop. LED flyer. A lot of candy. And a Rubik's Cube and Silly Putty. Ooh, Rubik's Cube. A hand. A hand. <laughs> it's decoration. And glow in the dark. Yeah, Bracelets. And a shirt. <laughs> now my mama got this shirt. 
come look at this shirt. Turn it around. Let me see. Look at look at this shirt though. <laughs> mm. You, I know your TT did come over here with that, and I, that's my favorite person. Mm. Betty Boop is my favorite Betty person. Boop. Well, shoot, it's big enough. You probably could fit it. And then, <laughs> and then look, you got some gum. Mm-hmm, I need it too. I need it too. This is a lot. Hey. And then look. That's pink. No, it's goo. Pink or bee. She don't need to kill, honey. And Trisha is sleep, so. Okay, so I just pulled up at the house and I'm about to put the Will You Be My Boo sign into Carlos's and I'm about to give him his boo basket. Hopefully he, he in the mood because y'all know how he get. So hopefully he in the mood to open it and be on camera. I don't know. I'm just so happy. This is like, I this today taught me that doing something for somebody else can really make you feel better about yourself. So let's go inside. Hey, what's up, girlfriend? I got you a surprise. Oh, shit. I got you a boo basket. Whatever that is. And will you be my boo? <laughs> of course. Of course I will. Look I at sure will. Look at my boo basket. Most definitely. <laughs> will you be my boo? I painted this for you. When did you find time to... Morgan painted that. I painted this. Tristan painted that. I did this. No, you did. I swear I recorded it. Oh, I didn't know my girlfriend was in the slow class. Shut up. <laughs> it's cute. Will you be my boo? Girl. Yes. Mm, period. So what, what is a boo basket? You my boo. So I made you a basket. Okay. Of just, What's all these blankets? You trying to throw me a hint? It's not a blanket. I couldn't remember. It's not a blanket. No, that's a t-shirt. It's a long sleeve thermal. Oh. That's some pajamas. No, that's a long sleeve shirt. These two are shirts you can just wear around the house. Two scullies and some pajamas. Damn, you trying to put me in the hospital or something? No, I just wanted you to be cozy. <laughs> All right, bet. And I, you got me a ring pop? Yeah, because that's the closest thing you're going to get to me proposing. Oh, thanks, and, boo. And then they say be a man's peace. This it? <laughs> this all the peace I'm going to get? Yeah. All right. You know I love a good candle. I know you have your own candle line, but yeah. Well, dude. thanks, boo. I'll be your boo. You'll be my boo. Yeah. You want I, a boo basket? I love you. Yeah, you gonna make me one? I'll make you one. Did you say? I can't remember if you said you hated skull caps or not. No, I hate flip flops. <laughs> I know you hate flip flops, but you said something about I hate the way. Some like I don't like the way them uh, white dudes wear it, like they ran away from home. Oh, <laughs> when they be hanging off the back yeah, of your head. Yeah, they be hanging all up. But it's that season to put some on your head. You gotta have some on. And I'm bald too, you know. I wear my shit like them old niggas in the pen. <laughs> I pull my shit all the way down like old niggas in the penitentiary. Yeah, that's you cute. Put your ears in yeah, I got you a blue one because I like it matched those New Balances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the black one because you just need one. Your eyeball. Thanks. You welcome, baby. And a back scratcher. No, that's just decoration. I thought this was, this ain't a back scratcher. No. It's dull. Anyway. Yeah, it's not made for that. It's just Halloween dec decor. Yeah. See. I'm Damn, just... that kind of look like me in a costume. No, it don't. You got the beard. That's not. <laughs> that ain't a beard. <laughs> I guess so. Uh -oh. Okay. Love you. Love you. All right, guys. Well, the boo baskets were a hit. Okay. You can take this idea and make one for your little boo or little boo or your niece and nephew, whoever you want to make one for. Thank y'all for watching another Friday vlog. Oh, and y'all see that doing stuff, something nice and thoughtful for others who like cheer you up and make your, you know, make you feel all warm and fuzzy on the inside. Anyways. Thank you for watching another video. Stay tuned each and every week. Let me know what kind of videos y'all want below because I'm kind of running out of ideas and I need some, you know, motivation. So let me know what y'all want to see, what type of videos y'all want, what kind of content y'all want to see on Fridays. I got y'all. I'm open to doing all type of stuff. 
you know, I'm going to take y'all to events and everything like that. But, yeah, like, comment, and subscribe so you never miss a Friday. I love you, Breezy Babies. My little country kids. See y'all next week. <laughs>